Hi class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss the four types of random sampling. So the word random describes the procedure used to select elements from a population. So when a random sampling is used, each element in the population has an equal chance of being selected. Okay, so the first type of random sampling is the simple random sampling or SRS. So, this is the most basic sampling technique. Okay, so this sampling technique uh, gives every member of the population an equal chance of being chosen to be part of the sample. So, ang example nito is yung using table of random numbers or pwedeng wheel of names kung online. Then, pwede rin using a lottery method. So, ito yung parang ano, a fishbowl method. No? So, kung saan, ilalagay lahat ng names nyo dun sa bowl, then bubunot tayo. So, ang tawag doon is simple random sampling. Number two is the systematic sampling. So, in this type of random sampling technique, every kate uh, element of the population is selected until the des desired number of elements in the sample is obtained. So, K is calculated by dividing the number of elements in the population by the number of elements in the desired sample. So, mamaya may example tayo kung paano pa ginagamit yung systematic sampling, no? So, ang tatandaan nyo dito, guys, meron tayong k element. Okay? So, number three, we have the stratified random sampling. So, this sampling technique divides the population into subgroups called strata and then selects sample randomly from each stratum. So, ang stratified random sampling, guys, uh, parang i-divide kayo yan. Let, let's say, uh, di-divide kayo into four groups. Okay? So, pag ginamit nyo yung stratified random sampling, kung four groups yan, each group, kukuha kayo, guys, ng sample. Okay? So, yung sample na kukunin nyo per group is depende kung gaano sila karami. So, meaning, mas marami yung member ng group, mas marami kang sample na kukunin doon. Okay? Mas konti yung member ng group, mas konti yung sample na kukunin mo doon. So, meaning, parang may proportion. Okay? So, next is number four, uh, cluster or area sampling. So, in cluster sampling, the population is divided into clusters or small groups. So, from these clusters, a random sample is drawn. So, all the elements from the sampled cluster will make up the sample. So, ano bang difference ng ating stratified random sampling kay cluster sampling? So, dito let's say we have four groups. Okay. Then, among that four groups, guys, uh, pipili na kayo kaagad dyan, randomly. So, pwede kayong bumunot, no? So, let's say, pag bunot nyo, ang nakuha nyong grupo is itong una at saka huli. So, lahat ng members nito, guys, nung una at huling group, yan yung iyong magiging sample. So, anong difference nila kay stratified? Kay stratified kasi, lahat ng group, kukuhanan mo. Okay, kukuha na mo ng representatives. So, meaning lahat ng groups meron silang uh, respondents or may, may sample. While dito kay cluster sampling, maaari na yung ibang group is walang representative. Okay, pero yung mapipili mong grupo guys, make sure na kukunin mo lahat. So, yun yung difference between stratified and cluster sampling. Okay? So, let's have an example. Identify the probability sampling technique used. So, letter A. Supervisors are selected using random numbers in order to determine the annual salaries. So, pinili dito guys yung mga supervisors uh, using random numbers. So, meaning this is a simple random sampling. Okay? Or yung ating uh, SRS. So next letter B, every 12 customer entering a mall is asked to select his or her favorite store. So this time, ang ating keyword is yung 12 customer. Kumbaga, parang may system. ba? So tanda nyo yung systematic kanina. So ang systematic is may tinatawag tayong Kate element. 
So dito, ang K natin is yung 12. No, yung kada 12 na customer na papasok, yung pang 12, kukunin nila as respondent. So meaning, yung pang 24, pang 36, so lahat ng divisible by 12. Okay, so that is systematic. Next, letter C. A head nurse selects uh, 10 patients from each floor of a hospital. So, dito guys, yung letter C, this is stratified sampling. Bakit siya naging stratified? Kasi guys, di ba, uh, a head nurse selects 10 patients from each floor. Ibig sabihin, may group tayo dito or parang may strata. So, ang strata natin dito is yung floor. Then, per floor, kumuha tayo ng representative. Yun nga yung ating 10 patients. Kung lahat ng floor is may representatives or may or may sample, meaning that is stratified. Okay? Next, letter D. In a university, all teachers from three buildings, okay, yan yung pinaka-keyword natin, are interviewed to determine whether they believe the students have higher grades now than previous years. So again, all teachers from three buildings. So ibig sabihin, Parang may group tayo dito, no? Ang group natin dito is yung uh, building. Yung buildings. Tama? So, since tatlong building lang or tatlong group lang yung na-involve, ibig sabihin meron mga ibang building na hindi napasama. Tama? Tapos, sa tatlong building na napili, guys, lahat ng teachers doon in-interview. All. Ibig sabihin, ang ginamit is cluster sampling. Nakuha? So, yan. So, ang medyo confusing lang dito yung stratified and cluster. Tandaan, ka-stratified, uh, lahat kasama, di ba? Uh, each group or each floor. So, so yan. Kay cluster naman, uh, hindi lahat ng group uh, may involve. Okay? Pero, yung mapipili nating group is la lalahatin nyo naman dun. Lahat ng member ng group na yun magiging sample. Nakuha ba guys? So this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment sec section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!